In this segment, we're going to be talking about the tow vehicles and their capacities for the different types of trailers and applications you may put behind it so that you're not stressing the vehicle with a trailer that's inappropriate in size or weighing more than the vehicle itself that's towing it. This particular model is a 550 Ford. It can pretty much handle anything that you can throw at it. It's rated at a GVWR at 17,500, which is its cargo weight. It can pull up to 30,000. This particular truck only has a GVWR of 6,400 pounds. It's a half ton. Its only capability is maybe for a two horse straight load or slant. But anything larger than that, you're stressing the suspension and its brake capacity in the event that your trailer were to lose its brake um, system, this vehicle has to be able to not only stop itself, but also the cargo that's behind it. And if the cargo weighs more than the truck itself, then you're in trouble and it'll burn up the brakes. So three quarter ton pickups are more preferable, whether they're two wheel drive, four wheel drive, they give you the flexibility of pulling most bumper pull horse trailers, but also maybe some of the smaller two horse goosenecks, whether they're aluminum or steel. Now this F550 Ford, like I said, is capable of 17,500 pounds GBWR, meaning the weight of the truck plus its load capacity cannot exceed that number without stressing and maxing out the system that it's built for. So this one has 19.5 tires on it, load range E, rated for that kind of load. Now, if you have a gooseneck, your pressure is gonna be forward of the axles and sitting down over those axles and transferring the weight back. So it's not carrying the full capacity of the trailer and what's behind it or what it's loaded with. But in this case, this truck is capable of not only stopping itself because of the larger brakes and the beefier suspension, but it's also capable in the event that the trailer brakes were not to engage on the trailer to not only stop itself, but those that cargo as well and the weight of the trailer. The key is not to exceed the GBWR of what the cap capabilities are of the vehicle, especially with a half ton truck, because if the weight behind you, even if it's a bumper pull, this particular model is not capable of handling a gooseneck trailer under any circumstances. It doesn't have the suspension. You can put tires and accoutrements on there, but it makes no difference. It's too much for this kind of capability. I see people using um, SUVs, Ford Explorers, things like that. And in fact, the, the vehicle weighs less than the vehicle that they're towing behind it, especially with horses in it. Dangerous situation, I don't recommend it. So get the appropriate vehicle out of the chute before you upgrade to a larger trailer or make sure it's capable of handling the trailer you already have and its load capacity. So this particular vehicle, you want to look at your tire rating. And we've already covered in, a, in other segments the tire capacity of the trailer. This particular truck has load range E tires. If they were rated any less, and these hold 80 pounds and are capable of the kind of pressure that the ton weight would put on its uh, hitch receiver. If there were any lighter, say a load range D, which is uh, capable of 2,450 pounds, a load range C, which is only capable of 1,850 pounds, it would be making these tires extremely hot and pushing them to their maximum capacity, which causes failure, blowouts, shredding, and it's a nightmare. So, if the trailer has load range E tires on it, you want to put load range E on the truck because you can have all the suspension in the world and you can have overload springs and all kinds of torsion bars and load levelers that they make out there as accessories. But if it's putting undue stress on these tires, it will make no difference at all. 
So let's talk about hitch receivers. They're bolted to the frame. It's a half ton. This particular hitch is a class three. It's capable of 5,000 pounds. This particular uh, hitch on this 550 is capable, it's a class five, capable of 10,000 pounds of tongue weight. So you have to make sure that those receivers are capable of handling the weight that is bolted to the frame that pushes down on the suspension of the truck. Again, good reason to have more than you need via a three quarter ton truck. If you're hauling a large gooseneck, a heavier truck, one ton, one ton dually, the right application for the right kind of tow vehicle. So most of the data you need is already imprinted on a data tag on the receiver itself. If it's not capable of that kind of weight capacity, you want to get it changed and make sure that the vehicle that you're bolting it to is capable of handling that kind of weight in the first place. Because if the vehicle is only capable of 5,000, say, hypothetically, and the hitch is capable of 10, then you have a problem.